Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation which has different bases and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So before we solve this equation we want to use this rule over here on the right hand side it's called change of base formula that means if you have a log of x with a base b then you can change to another base so the same rule we're going to be using for this equation and this time we're going to be changing this bases to to one base called base 2 so this is what we're going to do right now i'm going to put down log of 32 divided by log of 8 and then I'm going to put down base 2 over here and base 2 over here and we already have a base 2 over here we're going to leave it alone so I'm going to put down log of x minus 1 with the base 2 equals to 5 over 3. Now I want to make uh, things more simple by just looking at this thing. Look at the, this 32 and 8. 32 could be written as 2 power 5 and 8 could be written as 2 power 3. This is the next step we want to perform. So I can write log of 2 power 5 with a base 2 divided by log of 2 power 3 with a base 2 and just leave this other stuff as it is 2 equals to 5 over 3. The next step we want to use this fact if you have a log of x and then you have an exponent m then what you can do is bring this exponent to the front this is what i'm going to do right now 5 is our exponent i'm going to move it to the front and likewise this 3 is an exponent i'm going to move it to the front so this whole thing is going to look like 5 is going to be on the front log of 2 with the base 2 divided by 3 log of 2 with the base 2 plus log of x minus 1 with the base 2 equal to 5 over 3. Now the next step that you can see over here we're going to be using this fact right now. If you have a log an argument as b and the base is b if these two numbers are same then it's always equal to 1. So in our case over here you can see these 2 and 2 numbers are same. Likewise this is same so that means this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 1. So I can write this whole thing as 5 times 1 is same as 5 divided by this thing is 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus log of x minus 1 with the base 2 equal to 5 over 3. Now we want to isolate log so I'm going to subtract 5 over 3 from both sides. So this 5 over 3, 5, 3 is gone and this is gone. So simply we ended up with log of x minus 1 with the base 2 and on the right hand side we ended up with 0. Now, now we want to convert this logarithmic equation to an exponential one by using this fact on the right hand side. So this could be written as x minus 1 on the right hand side equal to 2 power 0. So this is an exponential equation. Now you recall that 2 power 0 is always 1 and we have x minus 1 over here. I want you to add 1 on both sides. So x turns out to be equals to 
2 which is our solution and now finally we want to check our answer our solution x equal to 2 for any extraneous issues so now what we're going to do is wherever you see x in our original original equation just replace it by 2 and here i have replaced x by 2 over here and now let's go ahead and simplify this thing so i put down log of 32 with the base 8 plus log of 2 minus 1 is 1 log of 1 with the base 2 equals to 5 over 3 we're going to see whether this statement is true one thing just keep in your mind that log of 1 is always 0 it doesn't matter what your base is log of 1 is always 0 that means this thing turns out to be the whole thing is 0 just keep in your mind we use this fact so this becomes log of 32 with the base 8 and this is plus 0 equals to 5 over 3 and then log of 32 base a turns out to be equal to 5 over 3. Now we want to convert this logarithmic equation into an exponential one. So we will use this fact if you want to convert from logarithmic equation to an exponential equation. So over here using this thing, so this turns out to be 32 equals to 8 power 5 over 3. Now I want you to just look at 8. 8 could be written as 2 power 3 and then power 5 over 3 and we have a 32 on the left hand side. And now we have a 2 exponents 2 power 3 and then 5 third. So we have a one exponent right here. There's another exponent. I want you to use this rule. If you have a two exponents, m and n, then they get multiply out. You multiply them. Same rule I'm going to apply over here. So this could be written as 2 power 3 times 5 over 3. And 32 is on the left hand side. So over here, 3 and this 3 they are gone so simply we ended up 2 power 5 equals to 32 and you know 2 power 5 is 32 and the left hand side 32 now my question is is this statement true yes this statement is indeed true thus x equal to 2 is indeed our solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.